Greetings. Greetings. Citizens of Super Earth, strap in because it's time for your weekly news recap on our ongoing second galactic war. But first, by Stim Crunch Mission Cookies, strictly for combat personnel only. These cookies were designed by none other than Dem Democratic Merch Officer Chechen over at Most Wanted Merch. These are also personally hand selected by General Brash himself. So you know they have been battle tested. Now, um, with Liberty Day quickly approaching Helldivers, I want to mention a legendary and, rena and renowned artist back on Super Earth known as Val. I believe she's part of the Ninth Hellraisers. She's been using her talent to promote managed democracy and is currently in a competition among Super Earth artists to claim the banner of the official Helldivers Discord. Please go over in the link below and add your vote to her wonderful art to be showcased to all super citizens. News has come from the Freedom Alliance Reddit. There was a recent lore um, and also a decrypted message by Supreme Morpheus user. All this lore behind Freedom Alliance is fan made, but we all say is from Super Earth. And here is the decrypted message. They have overrun the docks and blockaded our travel route the DSS is in the imminent, imminent danger from an evolved threat. The only nearby fleet is the Ninth Hellraisers. We need them to raise the entire Freedom Alliance. This is priority Omega One. Now, users secured through dozens of cargo manifests to discover the ones containing polonium cores and deduced that the encryption keys on those planets were needed to solve the ciphered message. The last three positions of Supply Convoy 41 in the following order as it was picking up polonium cores. Among other cargo, Pioneer 2, Wolford Station, and Carrick. It's still unclear what exactly attacked this convoy, but the signal burst has been sent out and the Knights Hell Hellraisers are soon expected to respond with a call to the entire Alliance. Sarah Carly and I will share more on this story as it unfolds. And those of you who do not know of the Freedom Alliance, they are a legendary group that um, combines multiple coalitions and streamers alike to come under one banner, do alliance orders that promote teamwork and helping our new enlisted cadets. Now, before I dive into more updates, let's take a moment of silence to honor the brave Helldivers who have fallen in battle. Their names are etched into the halls of Super Earth forever. Their bravery is a shining example to all. To those citizens who've offered their loved ones for the fight, your sacrifice brings us closer to victory with every passing day. And we, we remember, we honor, and we march together. Stronger, bolder, and always free. Now reports on the ongoing Second Galactic War. The Helldivers held Chlorel and are successfully holding four out of the five planets needed to protect the Terminid Research Preserve on Akamar 4. The DSS is also in Stage 2 and the Helldivers are ordered to hold all five remaining planets for the remainder of this major order. So good luck, Helldivers, but don't, but don't leave just yet. Next up, we have Sarah Kelly with all the new patch info and some new updates to our your favorite weapons. Enjoy Helldivers, and we'll be right back. Freedom's greetings, citizens of Super Earth. I'm Sarah Kelly, and here's what's new in the latest update. First off, additional supply items are now visible on your minimap for better coordination. Exosuits and support stratagems have been overhauled, with ricochets removed from certain projectiles for more precise strikes. Heavy and light Helldiver armor have been boosted for increased protection. Primary weapons received extensive rebalancing, including plasma projectiles now having uniform behavior, and several weapons like the PLAS-101 Purifier and SG-8P Punisher Plasma, getting significant tweaks for better handling. Sidearms, throwables, and support weapons also saw major enhancements, such as the new autofire mode for the PLAS-1 Scorcher, and damage boosts across grenades and stratagems. Drone backpacks now have a toggled function, and anti-tank mines have been reworked to target only heavier enemies. These changes mean your battlefield tactics just got sharper, stronger, and more reliable. In gameplay updates, patrol spawning has been refined, 
Now, increased patrols will focus around the extraction site, letting you explore the map more freely after completing your mission. Terminids like bile and nursing spewers have reduced leg health, making them easier to take down, while hunters and scavengers now have the potential to explode under heavy damage. Hunters also have a short shared area cooldown for their pounce ability. Automatons have seen significant targeting adjustments. They can no longer shoot through walls or track you without line of sight, giving you a better chance to use stealth. Some automaton projectile damage has been reduced, and their Hulk bruisers are back to using rocket launchers after sabotage missions by a mysterious Helldiver operative. As for tanks, their front armor has been reduced, and new weak spots on the rear will allow you to deal more damage. Destroying the rear of Annihilator and Shredder Tank turrets will now result in their destruction, giving you more tactical advantages on the battlefield. Helldivers, stay alert and use these changes to your advantage as you fight for the glory of Super Earth. Back to you, Strider of Valor, and thank you, Rangers SESF, for your Helldiver service for Super Earth. Ah, oh, thank you, Sarah Kelly. Do we have audio? Yes, we do. Thank you, Sarah, for that update, and we are so excited to see these new patches. New patch for all Helldivers. Thank you for watching, Ranger. Helldivers and those of you a part of Rental Penguin's crew, please remember to like, share, and follow this video that will be posted later on my YouTube channel for more Super Earth updates. And we now shift to our Q&A section where we will take questions related to all things Helldivers. So check that out next after this video. Stay vigilant, stay ready, stay rent, stay steady. We'll see you next time, Rangers. Thank you, Rangers and Helldivers, for choosing us to be your Super Earth update network and we want you to join us tuesday and thursday nights at 8 p.m cst for drops wherever super earth requires our discord link is below and we would like to enlist you with our rangers of super earth special forces dive safe and see you in the next news video you are the best of the best live up to your name live up to freedom.